Okay, so I'm presenting my Minecraft project for Judaism. Starts out in the village of Jews. And so come over here. And I get in my roller coaster, which takes us over to the main area and where it starts. So it's going to be a tiny bit of a ride, but we're just going over where it says Judaism. And like this big couple buildings. So come on, go across the bridge. This is like the longest ride, so hopefully this doesn't take too long. But gonna keep going. We're gonna stop at this white building here. And start with the founder and who found it. So this is Abraham's grave. He founded Judaism. It was founded in around 2000 BCE in the Middle East, like around Jerusalem and well, what's known today, Jerusalem. Abraham did this by teaching other people what he believed because he believed in only one God and he taught others until other people believed what he did. And then like after he had a lot of followers and stuff, he pretty much, it was a religion. So that's that part. Gonna get, come over here, go to the next stop. Next stop is important people. So, get over here, important people. Get out the way, bunny. Okay, Abraham. Here's a little story about Abraham. Let's check it out. So, Abraham was the son of Terah. He was the founder of Judaism. He believed there was only one God that had a good relationship with everyone, and he started teaching knowledge to others about that. So, there's a little bit about Abraham. So, founded Judaism. Here's Moses. Moses, he's in there, villager. So, read this book. Moses was also a very important man. Moses is known for receiving the code of laws of the or, or the Ten Commandments. He used them to tie Abraham and his descendants together and use them as rules for them to follow. So, he got the Ten Commandments from Mount Sinai, and that will also be another stop on our tour. Here's King David. There he is, looks at me, villager, King David, little story about him. Okay, King David was the father of King Solomon. He is known for his skills as a warrior and writer. He ruled for 40 years working to unite the people of Israel, and he led his people to a victory in battle. Ooh. Put that one back. Okay, and last one, King Solomon. Jeez, these bunnies are all over. Okay. King Solomon was the son of King David. He is known for his wealth and wisdom, but he also built the Holy Temple in Jerusalem, which is very famous. Put that one back. And here is King Solomon. He's in like a purple coat. Okay, next stop is the synagogue. This is, we're going to the biggest building. It's a big white one. Go around some turns. Almost there. Okay. Okay, here's a synagogue. If you didn't know, synagogue is a Jewish like worship center or like a church where they do their services. So you come in here and it's like a big aisle. People can sit here and listen to the worship services. And then come down the aisle, big stained glass window, chandelier. And here's some, just some Jewish terms that are pretty important. So the Hebrew people had many had many beliefs. Some of them are keeping the Sabbath holy, maintaining kosher food practices, and worshiping only one God. They also have a lot of holidays. Some of them are Hanukkah, Rosh Hashanah, and Yom Kippur. Next page. Torah. Uh, a script of laws also known as the Code of Laws. Um, or the Old Testament. And then the Old Testament, a book of teaching that consists of laws, stories, prophecies, and wisdom writing. It is written it is written in over 24 books. Hebrew. Abraham and his descendants are considered Hebrews, but more known as Jewish people. Hebrew is also a language. So, there's some cool Jewish terms. Come out of synagogue, nice stained glass window again, big nice roof. And so there's some other buildings. Close the door. Just give you 
nice outside look of the synagogue. Okay, so next stop is, I think, the timeline? Oh, wait, nope, it's other, it's other terms, okay. Or ideas brought, borrowed. Okay, so ideas from other religions. So, Judaism, Christianity, and Islam pretty much share a lot of, like, religious ideas. So, um, well, pretty much what I just said, Judaism shares many other things with many other religions, such as Islam and Christianity. For example, Abraham is all part of Judaism, Christianity, and Islam. They're all monotheistic religions. Can't talk today. And they all believe in heaven. They all believe they are descendants um, of Abraham. So that is just some ideas and like things that all the religions share. Next stop coming up here is the timeline. You can see it says timeline up there. Or if you couldn't tell, it does say timeline. Uh, get out the minecart. Okay, you gotta fly up here. Here's some things pretty much from the beginning and like around the beginning of religion. So Abraham starts teaching his beliefs to others. And that was in 1812 BCE, so pretty long time ago. Um, Moses leads Hebrew people out of Egypt to their promised land, or like Jerusalem area, Middle East, where they are today in 1250 BCE. Um, next one, Moses receives the Ten Commandments on Mount Sinai. Uh, dates are not known for that. Um, and Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob become known as patriarchs. And if you didn't know, Isaac and Jacob are Abraham's two sons. Um, and also the dates are not known for that, but... And patriarchs mean like the father of Judaism. So get back in the minecart. Okay, now we're at Mount Sinai. This is where like the Ten Commandments were. And so come up here. And there's also another Moses person. That's Moses. You can say hi to him. Hi, Moses. Come down here. Welcome to Mount Sinai. So, Mount Sinai, a little background story. Mount Sinai is an important place. This is where Moses received the Ten Commandments that Hebrews still use today. Also, if you're kind of confused, Hebrews and Jews, Jewish people or Jews are pretty much the same thing, just two different terms. So, the Ten Commandments are, I'm the Lord thy God who brought thee out of the land of Egypt. Thou shalt not have gods before me. Thou shalt not take the name of the Lord thy God in vain. Uh, remember to keep the Sabbath day to keep it holy. Honor thy father and thy mother. Um, shalt not murder. Thou shalt not commit adultery. Thou shalt not steal. Thou shalt not bear wit false witness uh, against thy neighbor. Thou shalt not covet anything that belongs to thy neighbor. So, those are the Ten Commandments. Uh, so... All the uh, the Jewish Hebrew people still follow those today, and it's written in the Torah or the Old Testament, like as the Code of Laws, if you didn't know what I was referring to. Okay, so next stop. Keep going on the roller coaster. Oh, and if you didn't know, these redstone, like these red torch things is what the keeps the roller coaster going. Just doesn't really relate to Judaism, but... Okay, this, probably, probably I have no idea what it is. So, these are just some things I added in. This is the Star of David. It was really hard to build in Minecraft, and it doesn't really look very good, but I tried. And it's pretty much just two triangles, one upside down and one right side up. And then I have a little story behind that. Star of David book. Okay. Uh, the Star of David is a commonly known symbol for Hebrews. It represents the shape of King David's shield. This symbol also appears on the flag of Israel. So that's the start of David. This is kind of a short ride, but might as well do it. Kind of fun. And we're already here. Get out the minecart. Come here. This is the menorah. It's pretty much a big candle stand. If you couldn't tell, these like 
yellow things, they're candles, and there's one taller one. So let's get the story behind that. A menorah is a candle that is lit on Hanukkah to ward the dark spirits away. It consists of nine candles, one taller than the others, as like as kind of like the stronger candle. So put the menorah book back and not too much longer, but a little bit more. Come over here and Here's just some like other terms that were that I added. So a diaspora is let's see a diaspora people who live away from their ancestry but still keep in contact with them. So like anyone who was born as like a Hebrew but lives away from like Jerusalem now. And covenant is see it's the relationship that Abraham and God have between each other. Since um Abraham was the first to believe in him. He's known as, like, the father besides, like, God. He's, like, the father. So he has the best relationship. And then once I come around, this will be last stop. Go back across the bridge. We're going to go back to the village. We're going to take a little path through the village. It's been kind of fun. Almost there, and as you can see, we're right back where we started. And so, come over here. This is my last thing that I have to share with you guys. Oh, there's some villagers coming out. Hi, villager. Come in here, and then I have just some fun facts. Um, so fun facts. Around 18 million people follow Judaism as their own religion. Kosher food practices. Um, is where you can't have like certain foods. Um, and then I, I think I already told you this, but a patriarch is known as the father of Judaism and Abraham was the first one. And then also a bar mitzvah is when a Jewish boy becomes a Jewish man and has to read and has to read from the Torah. And also a bat mitzvah is when a Jewish girl turns 12 or 13, they can have it either way and has to read and also has to read from the Torah or the Old Testament. So they're the same thing. So I'll put that back, come over here. So I'm in, in the village right now. No, I did not build this village, it was already here. Oh, and there's a lot of like llamas around and cows and stuff. But that'll pretty much wrap up my Judaism project. So hope you enjoyed my tour of my Jewish world for my Judaism project. And thanks for watching.